Good day. How you going? As they say in Australia. Today is Wednesday the 10th of July 2024. And I'm sitting in my sister's beautiful back garden in Yokine, a suburb of Perth in Australia. And it's a lovely change from the grey, wet weather that we've been having in England for far too many weeks recently. So it's actually beautiful and sunny. And uh, it really is a lovely change. But can you believe it? It's actually been too hot the last two days uh, at 37 degrees C. In old money, just touching 100 in Fahrenheit which even the locals actually tend to stay inside with their air conditioning rather than going out. Even though some do, it's not, it's not as severe as getting when it's over 40. But it is uh, quite, uh, quite fierce at 37. So we now have some wind that's come up this afternoon and it's very pleasant because I'm now sitting out in the garden um, with the wind whistling about. And, uh, it suddenly feels quite nice and comfy again. And isn't it amazing how we feel in the sun? And isn't it, isn't it symbolic of being out in the light and coming out of the dark? You know, all that sort of thing that's in the Psalms and in the Bible. And um, it really does raise, just raise our spirits, doesn't it, when it's sunny and, uh, and, and when it's comfortably warm. There's a, there's a feeling of ease in life. And we're having to fight against the arduousness of, of continual cold, wet weather. I'm trying not to rub it in, by the way, <laughs> but it is part of what I'm trying to say here. Um, you know, this 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 reliance on our external circumstances to make us feel all right is all very well, you know, and it does make a lot of difference. But really, the the, the main thing that makes us feel all right in life is what we have going on inside, isn't it? You know, if we're always worrying about what happened long ago, things that went on in our childhood, the injustices that were done, yet alone being too anxious about what's going to go on in the future and, and things that might happen, um, we really do miss the opportunity to live now. And uh, I really think that's a, a very big part of what uh, Jesus was trying to teach us, actually trying to teach us, you know, the eternal life that he talked about. The only thing that ever is eternal is the present. It's right here now, and it always will be here now. It always has been here now. And uh, <laughs> I speak for myself. I sometimes get quite lost in thoughts from the past and thinking about the future. But the more I am in the present, and actually, the less I think I'm just here the better it is. And in this, in, in the present, there is that presence of something more. And the feeling of God in everything, the feeling of God in nature, in the wind, in the water. My sister's beautiful pool's just over there. I won't go that far to show you today. I might another day. But, uh, you know, that, that process of being close to God seems so mysterious. But it's really, I think, when we get ourselves out of the way. And just be in, in that presence. <laughs> anyway, let's just say a quick prayer and say, uh, Lord, thank you for all our blessings. Thank you for what we have today. And teach us to make the most of what's in front of us this day. And to love our neighbour as best we can, of course. Anyway, good day, mates. Have a good day. And uh, we'll see you again soon.